Yo guys, it's Teabag. Before this video starts, I want to ask you guys for a little favor. Yesterday I uploaded a live commentary video that you probably haven't seen yet, because YouTube messes up these sub boxes every now and again. So to avoid this problem, it would mean so much to me if you guys would click the bell icon to enable notifications. I know I never ask stuff like this, but when you work your ass off to produce a video like I did yesterday, and it doesn't land in your subscriber sub boxes, well that sucks. Anyway, I will leave a link down below to the video if you haven't checked it already. Trust me, it's a pretty entertaining video. With that being said, let's go on into the video. So recently, I hear a lot of people talking about the new buff for the SMG 0818. Apparently, it's pretty much insane now and pretty much everybody is calling it the new Hell Regal. I kind of doubt that, but let's give it a chance and see if it's actually true. Oh my god! Okay, I kinda underestimated this gun, I'ma be honest, it's pretty crazy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is how it used to be in the vanilla game. And this is after the buff on the CTE. It's a pretty big difference, I don't know exactly the stats, but it feels like it has gotten a rate of fire of around 700 to 750 rounds per minute. Now just to let you all know, the Parabellum light machine gun has also a rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute. Just to give you guys a little bit of an indication. The Hell Regal has a rate of fire of around 650. So I see where people are coming from when they call it the new Hell Regal. Oh and the Automatico has a rate of fire of around 900. So it is definitely amongst the highest rate of fire weapons in the game now. Which is kind of weird since it was initially one of the slowest firing weapons in the game with just 450 rounds per minute. Now the reason why they can mess around with the stats of this weapon is because in real life it is a super rare gun and there haven't really been any documentation on how it really performs. So this gun wasn't really a powerhouse and now it is. But obviously the accuracy and recoil are pretty bad with this rate of fire. I tried to tap fire it for longer ranges but that's not really an option. It's pretty much a CQB only weapon. But after this buff man, I'm telling you guys, it can absolute melt people. Don't forget this thing also has a magazine capacity of 80 rounds. And the reloading animation is pretty quick as well. So I understand why people are calling it the new Hell Regal. Only point where the Hell Regal still excels is the fact that it's way more accurate. I wouldn't say it's overpowered by any means because it isn't versatile at all like I said. But for CQB it is a go to weapon. Please note that this buff is only on the CTE and may be tweaked here and there before it receives any changes in the vanilla game. But I want to know what your guys thoughts are on this weapon in the CTE. Do you think it is way better now? Maybe even worse? I've seen some people complaining about the fact that their favorite gun is now ruined. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you won't miss any upload I do. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.